The newest Pixar film, Lightyear, just hit theaters, so today I'm ranking all eight Toy Story movies. Yes, eight from the worst to the best. In this ranking, I'm including the four main Toy Story films, as well as the new film Lightyear and the straight to DVD 2000 film called Buzz Lightyear of Star Command The Adventure Begins. I'll also be including Toy Story of Terror and Toy Story That Time Forgot because they are 20 minute specials that would technically air for 40 minutes, making it a feature length film, but I will be excluding all of the shorts such as Small Fry and Party Source Rex. But with that said, let's get started. In last place is Toy Story That Time Forgot. Really just a harmless Christmas special that has like two scenes that actually feel Christmassy, but that doesn't really bother me. It was just a weird marketing strategy to say it's a Christmas special. The plot is just prosaic to me, and making Trixie the main protagonist was just mediocre. However, the addition of the Angel Kitty was a nice one. She added a great sense of humor that made it a bit better. It's fun and playful, but ultimately forgettable in the grand scheme of things. In 7th place is Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Adventure Begins. I'm incredibly biased towards this because I grew up with it, but I still think it's extremely fun, and I like it just as much as the new one. It's kind of weird I grew up with this because I'm not a 90s kid, I was born in the late 2000s, so I'm pretty surprised I watched this a lot. It doesn't even have 10% of the budget of Lightyear, which is honestly formidable considering it's really good and I like it about the same amount I do the new one. The animation isn't great, not all the voice acting is palatial, but it is a blast from start to finish. Also, since at the beginning we see the toys with the CG animation, it's technically canon to the Toy Story franchise. In 6th place is the new film Lightyear. This was kind of insufficient. I gave it a positive score and some might say that that doesn't make it disappointing, but it was in my top 5 most anticipated movies of this year, with a trailer that made it look like the most exhilarating Pixar movie in terms of action. But then I watched it and a lot fell flat. For example, Zerg absolutely sucked, which is such a shame because I was really looking forward to seeing him in action in a real sci-fi film. Also, spoilers really quick, skip to this time. That twist that Zerg is an older version of Buzz was awful. Okay, he would have been much more of a compelling villain without the twist they gave him if they gave him a plotline that made sense. Also, Tim Allen should have voiced the old Buzz, that would make it 10 times better. The side characters were also unfunny and underdeveloped, which just makes the scenes with them kind of unenjoyable. Why do I keep using the prefix un? It sounds like I'm being too illiberal. I am, but those are just my issues. I did think the animation was beautiful, and while they're on this one planet, the lighting is blue and it just looks gorgeous. The voice acting was also solid. Chris Evans was actually the perfect person besides Tim Allen to play Buzz. He did a really good job. The fan service throughout was cool too. The character design was glamorous, and it was awesome seeing the realistic Buzz Lightyear suit in action. In the trailer, Socks looked like a really unfunny character placed in this film only for comedic relief, which unfortunately looked like it would misfire. But to my surprise, he was a really funny character that I actually loved. Not an inordinate movie, really enjoyable, but it has lots of problems. Only reason it's above Buzz Lightyear of Star Command is because it's way more rewatchable and has superior animation. Just cracking the top 5 is Toy Story. One of the most iconic animated films of all time. The story, characters, and cast are fantastic, and the animation isn't actually all that bad. It's better than the animation in Hoodwinked, and that came out 10 years later. Sid can get infuriating, and the animation for the humans isn't good. It's a great start to one of the greatest franchises of all time, but it's easily my least favorite of the four main Toy Story films. When I was younger, I thought it was boring, ugly, and I always chose to watch the other ones in the franchise. Frankly, I don't know what I was thinking. This is great, and not to mention cast perfectly. In fourth place is Toy Story 2. To this day, I am still surprised by how tremendous this animation is for a film released in the 90s. Shall I mention Hoodwinked again? Probably the most forgettable out of the main four, but I still love the inclusion of Jesse, Bullseye, and Barbie. Jesse was inaugurated in a perfect way with a perfect backstory giving us the emotions we expect from a Pixar movie. Stinky Pete is a competent twist villain, the ending was really fun in the airport and that led to an exciting sequence, but I still don't really like his character very much overall. It also shows us the real Space Ranger version of Buzz in an arguably better way than Lightyear did. 
The opening scene of this is phenomenal to me, and some of the most enjoyable stuff we have ever gotten in Pixar. I really wish Lightyear was just a full-length version of that. Toy Story 2 is a worthy follow-up to the original film, and is even better in my opinion. Wait, hold on. Oh, I got it. That was a fly, by the way. In third place is Toy Story 4. I think this is an amazing film. No, it wasn't necessary. Toy Story 3 already gave us what could have been an incredible ending, but man, Toy Story 4 was a convivial movie. Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele as Ducky and Bunny make this possibly the most facetious Pixar film. I find Keegan-Michael Key to be a really funny actor, and Jordan Peele is a great horror director, even though that has nothing to do with Toy Story 4. The emotional payoff towards the end works pretty well, and I like that they brought back Bo Peep, and we could finally see why she disappeared in between Toy Story 2 and 3. I can understand why some people might not like this, but personally, I really love it. In second place is Toy Story of Terror. Yup, you heard me. Toy Story of Terror is in second place. It's a great horror-themed special for Halloween that kids can tolerate and certainly enjoy. It unwinds an engaging plot that provides some genuinely eerie moments that lets us see what the toys are doing in between Toy Story 3 and 4 in a more intriguing way than That Time Forgot does. For some reason, I didn't watch this last Halloween, but I know I will this time. Hopefully, I don't forget. But easily in first place is Toy Story 3. So I rewatched this film recently, and before that, I honestly forgot how great of an ending this would have been to the franchise. Toy Story 4 is great, but this is on a different level. I noticed some drawbacks when I watched it that I hadn't before, but I don't really care. This film is emotional, intensely nerve-wracking, mostly towards the end, hilarious, and just amazing. I love how it turns into this heist movie and gives us one of the most suspenseful third acts in an animated film. Easily the best Pixar film, and as of now in my top 15 of all time. It's never going to go down to a 9 out of 10, it will always stay a 10, but as I watch more movies and mature, it might not stay in my favorites list. But right now, it comes in at number 1 on my Toy Story ranking. <laughs>